Uh, hey everybody, hope you're all enjoying this Friday morning. I'm giving, the, I'm starting another series on this channel called TV Show Reviews, in which I review as many TV shows as possible. TV shows which I admired and respected, or TV shows I disliked. You know, I'm going to start with a, a show from Disney XD called Pair of Kings. Pair of Kings is this comedy show on Disney XD that was that aired from 2010 to 2013. I remember watching the show back in middle school. It was pretty amazing, Pair of Kings. Probably my favorite show ever on Disney XD. The series stars Mitchell Musso, Doc Shaw, Adam Hicks, Kelsey Chow, Ryan Ochoa, and Gino Sedgers. You know, the series was pretty good, you know. It lasted for three seasons. Mitchell Musso and Doc Shaw were the two main actors with the two main actors on the first two seasons. After the second season, Mitchell Musso left the show and Adam Hicks replaced him, playing the, you know, playing the third triplet brother. So let me explain about the characters. The main characters are Brady, are three triplet brothers, Brady, Boomer, and Boz. The series starts with Brady and Boomer. They grew up in Chicago, and at the age of 16, they were invited to come to King Cal because they were supposed to be ruling as kings. You know, and their parents prepared them for for the you know for their for com for them coming to King Cow, becoming kings of King Cow, and ruling the island together, both twins, and not everybody is pleased with that. However, their cousin Lanny, played by Ryan Ochoa, dislikes the fact that Brady, played by Mitchell Musso, and Boomer, played by Doc Shaw, ca came to King Cow. Was Lanny was supposed to be next in line for the throne? But since Brady and Boomer came back, you know, then Lanny was just simply a prince. And Lanny, of course, tries to sabotage the kings every chance he gets. He tries to steal the th steal the throne and become king. He tries so hard to do that. It's pretty hilarious to watch him failing to, to, to get back at the kings. And neither Boomer nor Brady suspect that Lanny is evil in any way. Brady ends up falling in love with Michaela, the the daughter of the of the head guard, played by Mika played by Kelsey Chow. Yeah, Kelsey Chow plays Michaela, and Michaela doesn't feel the same way about Brady. But Brady tries everything he can, does everything he can to get Kels to get Michaela's attention and affection. He does everything he can to get Michaela's attention to get her to get her affection and everything. You know, he does everything he can to get her to get to get her to you know to to like him. But however, it doesn't work. It doesn't work no matter how hard he tries. And then. And what you know, and there's also different tribes on King Cow as well. There's different tribes. There's this tribe of people that are like you should call them like maybe like um dwarves. Yeah, there's like these dwarves on King Cow. They're like people that are really small. We also have these Flaji, I think that's called the name of the tribe is called Flaji, with these people that that have green skin. We also have um there are so many tribes in King Cow, like at least twelve tribes, I think. I don't know the names of all of them, however. There's also, I think, a couple of giants, I think. You know, there's so many interesting creatures on King Cow as well, you know. But the but King Cow seems like a fun place for both Boomer and Brady. The two kings enjoy the, the, ruling the island, you know. They seem to love and care about their people to an extent. Of course, Boomer and Brady aren't exactly the t sharpest tools in the shed. They end up, like, you know, doing some stupid things at times, which gets their island in trouble. Like, for instance, there was this one episode in which Boomer and Brady accidentally revived Zodak, whatever his name was, like, you know, the king of the dark side. And because of that, the island was endangered because of them, but they managed to redeem themselves and, you know, and help and help out their people, you know? And Boomer and Brady were thought to be the kings of legend, but then after season two... Mitchell Musso in real life got a DUI in 2011, and because of that, Disney was forced to kick him off Pair of Kings, although they really didn't have to. They should, they should have kept him on the show, in my opinion. I mean, that was, that was their biggest mistake, pulling Mitchell Musso off Pair of Kings. And then Adam Hicks replaced him for the third season of Pair of Kings. Brady was written out of the show when Michaela was talking with her friend Candace in the, in the forest, and then Brady was watching from the background, and then he, like, they show him with the body double, not Mitchell Musso, because Mitchell Musso wasn't there. It was a body double playing Brady, you know, who wrote a letter to Boomer and left his king ring behind, and then Brady left the island, and then, you know, Boz, Boomer tried to go after Brady, but then a storm forced him to stay behind and stay at King Cow. And then... Adam Hicks plays the long-lost triplet brother, King Boz. You know, Boz arrives with the with the people of Mendu. He's the king of Mendu. And then, you know, they find out that Boz, because of a birthmark he has, is Boomer and Brady's long-lost triplet brother. So Boomer tries to, uh, so Boomer tries to cooperate with Boz throughout the third season as he has a new another brother, you know, and everything. And even though Mitch, the show wasn't as funny without Mitchell Moose, I still thought it was funny anyways. I still enjoyed it. I still loved it. You know, Boz was pretty funny. Adam Hicks was a good actor. You know, but, you know, I, 
I personally liked with Mitchell Musso in it more, but, you know, it was still good, though. I still enjoyed the show even in the third season with Boz and with Boomer and Boz, you know, Doc Shaw and Adam Hicks. And anyways, you know, then, you know, and the third season goes on with Boz trying to adapt himself to King Cow and everything, and Boomer and Boz coming up with more adventures. There's one episode where Boomer really misses Brady, in, like, so Boomer tries to build a, a snow resort to relive those memories because he misses Brady and everything. And then eventually, Kaita is revealed, to, the Kaita the Bat Rider comes back to life because of Boz accidentally reviving him. And then it's revealed that Kaita was the one who killed Boomer, Brady, and Boz's father. And Boomer, of course, is, en is enraged about that. But then Boomer and Boz meet the ghosts of their parents. And they, they, they team up with the rest of the tribes to take down Kaita and, and secure peace and victory for the island of King Cow, thus ending the series. You know... In my opinion, Paraking should have been renewed for a fourth season, you know, with Brady and Mitchell slash Mitchell Musa returning as a regular, and all three kings ruling King Cow. It would have been a fun season if that was the case. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I enjoyed the show. I recommend the show if you want to see it. You know, it's a very good show, honestly, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. That's my TV show review about Pair of Kings, you know. And there's also this Pair of Kings movie that Ryan Ochoa plans plan on making on his TikTok. You know, which shows the return of Mitchell Musso as King Brady. But unfortunately, since Adam Hicks got arrested on November on January 25th, 2018, they'll have to recast the role of Boz if he appears in the film. But Mitchell Musso has to return in the in the Pair of Kings movie. There's no question that Brady has to return. That's the only way anyone's gonna be able to anyone's most people are gonna be watching. But anyways, that's just my thoughts about Pair of Kings, my TV show review. Hope you enjoyed it. Tonville Legend, 826, out.